Hello friends, Techman Pat here. I hope you are well. Welcome to a Dirt Report. This one is a quick one, but it's great news for those on the HFC network. That's right, folks. You're about to, well, soon, I hope, get some pretty fiber-like internet speed. So let's talk about the evolution of the NBN hybrid fiber coaxial network. And it's going to be quick because it is only just a media release and we're going to go through it today. So make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started by rolling the intro. Fiber-like higher speeds demonstrated in planned evolution of the NBN hybrid fiber coaxial network. I understand NBN Co doesn't want to upgrade HFC to fiber because of the costs when they could potentially achieve fiber-like speeds with a few upgrades. So let's have a look at what NBN has planned for HFC networks. NBN Co's investment in network upgrades are designed to help deliver faster, more reliable NBN network connections to meet future customer data demands. And in live field trials today over its hybrid fiber coaxial network, the company showcased wholesale multi gigabit download speeds. Now we know that a NBN is planning to release multi gig plans very soon. Right now, one gigabit is the maximum, but we didn't know if HFC was going to get multi-gig technology. Now we have a slither of hope that it will. The demonstration involved the deployment of Distributed Access Architecture, DAA, on the HFC Access Network, delivered a wholesale download speed of 8.7 gigabits per second and an upload speed of 1.5 gigabits per per second. This is an important milestone for the company as it strives to ensure the right technology is ready to support the national rapidly accelerating digital demand. Fantastic speeds. 8.7 gigabits per second will mean that HFC is future proofed for at least a couple of months. A joke, but at least it will be ready to go for many, many years to come. And won't need fiber. Now, of course, HFC has its own problems, but it means that if you are on HFC, don't fear, you will be able to get those multi gigabit speeds, I hope. Now, this was delivered via Comscope's latest DOCSIS 3.1 DA node and paired with a new generation DOCSIS 4.0 cable modem. So we will be ending up swapping out the current modems, which I mean, neither here nor there. If you want those higher speeds, you'll need a new modem just like any other NBN connection that will get multi-gig will need to get a new modem because right now the equipment is only geared towards one gigabit connections. Now the new equipment digitizes the HFC optical node in the street. So it's kind of like your fiber to the curb. And in conjunction with NBN's deep fiber deployment, it expected not only to increase data capacity, but improve the performance, resiliency, and reliability of the HFC network while also reducing power consumption, which is interesting that power consumption is so important because we've talked about the new NDTs that NBN is releasing about them being very, very power efficient. Now, Dion Lubnovic, Chief Network Officer and Co said, the investment we continue to make in fiber and HFC are expected to enable higher speeds through greater capacity aimed at enabling Australia to be equipped with the reliable and resilient infrastructure it needs to support the nation's rapidly growing data needs. With DAA technology and amplifier upgrades, NBN aims to grow the available radio frequency bandwidth over the HFC network to enable more DOCSIS 3.1 channels. Coupled with a DOCSIS 4.0K modem to aggregate these channels it is expected the wholesale capacity approaching nearly 10 gigabits per second and that can be unlocked this successful trial demonstrates the potential future technical capability of the hfc network to deliver fiber like higher speeds in both a downstream and upstream direction which may help support the data needs of millions of households and businesses across the nations so a couple of thoughts in the footnotes i was expecting to see what kind of distances the actual hfc cable was running to get those speeds because i imagine the longer that hfc cable goes the lower then that speed will be. So I think what's going to happen is HFC will get a maximum of two gigabits per second at any distance or reasonable distances that they have at the moment, and that will be sold as part of it. And if there is a HFC network that goes to and splits off to multiple locations, like say in a apartment, then that might need to be split out. So if there's a capability of six, they might be able to split it out to three or so. I'm not sure of those details, but we'll find out more as 
details come out, I'm going to contact NBN Co and ask for maybe a bit more information, see if they can provide it. Friends, thank you very much for watching. This was a Dirt Report, a very quick one. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye! Thank you.